<laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Unfortunately, in your zeal, you failed to eliminate Vici while she addressed her guests as directed. I'm sorry. But your bonus is forfeit. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. As I said, go speak with Gabriella. She's been assisting me with your next contract. Word certainly travels fast, doesn't it? But to be outnumbered, 20 to 1. When one can divine the future, success may not be assured. But it can at least be anticipated. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, the security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but... Distracted. Weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. I feel a bit guilty. Once again, the sweet innocent child earned more trust than No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Oculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. <laughs> 